Hey, what's up, everyone? AJ Writes Crypto coming at you for a week seven portfolio update. Well, really, it's week seven and eight. And Jada and I, we missed last week because we saw, you know, the market was falling the previous two weeks with the crypto we were buying. It just kept dropping. So we said, you know what? Let's give it a week. Let's, you know, and let's buy twice as much the next week. So, you know, we have a chance to catch lower prices. And luckily, that's exactly what we did. I'm going to introduce Jada. Jada, thanks so much for being here today, joining us from Orcas Island, Washington. How are you doing today? You know, I'm doing good. A little under caffeinated, but we're getting there. Okay, we're getting there. I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So, you know, you have been on Orcas for a little while now, but have you still been, you know, keep in touch on your portfolio? H how's it going? I have been. It's been a little scary. I know everyone's getting a little nervous. But yeah. <laughs> okay, we're fine. We're back. I had actually a couple people even find me on Twitter and DM me and they were like, did you guys stop doing the portfolio updates? And I was just like, no. <laughs> No, we have I'm not traveling and the market's been terrible. <laughs> yep, exactly. So we took a week off because we knew things were falling. You know, we we did our buy in Miami with the one that we did with Gigi. And, you know, basically that was the local top of both our portfolios. I'll pull mine up here on the screen. And this is not the 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 current price of the portfolio. That is just what I have invested in the portfolio right now. I have a pretty nice spread, as you can see. So right now I am I have three thousand dollars invested in this portfolio i'm up 90 dollars on algorand up 130 on h bar i'm up six dollars on v chain up 201 on phantom which is pretty crazy because i only invested 250 dollars in phantom definitely caught the cup and handle on that one i'm up 15 dollars on Avalanche up $46 on Femex, the PT coin, despite a lot of things, you know, losing ground. A lot of a lot of coins have gone down significantly since Miami. Uh, the PT coin is actually still right, like right under 90 cents. That one is holding very strong. Uh, definitely looking to get some more of that one here soon. Um, I am I am down a hundred dollars on sand, unfortunately, and I'm also down forty dollars in the most recent buy of Pal AI. And you know, we can, and this is kind of why we took a week off because we like, you know, this this drop that we have, uh, it could be coming to an end here soon, as we will show you, uh, you know, with the charts at the end of the show. I'm going to be showing you three charts here, right here on this episode here. But, you know, I'm not saying it's the absolute bottom, but I think it's a smart move that we took a week off to let the market continue to fall because what we're going to buy now, we're going to be able to buy more crypto uh, for the money. So I do $500 a week. And Jada, you might be uh, happy to hear this. I am going to put my two weeks of investing. So 500 plus 500, I'm buying $1,000 of the graph. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I am buying a thousand dollars of the graph, and I, and really fast before we do your portfolio, I will show you why. Let me pull the the chart for the graph up right here. So you know, here is the chart of the graph. Kind of got some things from the Telegram group, uh, some of the alpha left behind from there. And as you can see, the graph was kind of in this. You see, like the yellow triangle here, okay? And it, you know, this level was very important for the graph. Uh, this level is at exactly you know thirty six cents, basically. And it tested that level time and time and time again. And unfortunately, when the graph lost that level, it stopped being a triangle and it started becoming a, just a normal down channel. OK, so now the graph is in just a normal down channel. But you see this white line down here, this white line down here. This is actually a support resistance level from way further back in the chart at 32.2 all the way back there from last time. OK, so and the graph has done a good job holding this level twice. It wicked down here. It wicked down here again. Also, if you look at market site for B link for market site for down below, we have an anchor wave trigger wave green dot as the price is trending down. The oscillator is trending up clear cut case of bullish divergence on a four hour chart for the graph. Also, when you go to the two hour chart. And you look at the high IQ indicator, uh, you know, right here, we had a hard short exit. And what I found on high IQ, which will tell you when to enter a short or when to enter a long, it'll also say when to get out of a short or when to get out of a long. So right here, like I said, we have a hard short exit. So I think to myself, with the bullish divergence, you can even see here on the two hour, if high IQ is telling me to get out of a short, shouldn't I get into a long? Like doesn't 
yeah, that's kind of a big brain move, right? That, that that makes sense to me. So I'm thinking, you know, hopefully, hopefully the graph holds this level right here. I am, you know, that you know, fingers crossed. Definitely have an alarm set on that level uh, on your chart. It's at 32 cents. So it was zero three two zero point three two one eight is that level. You want to have an alarm on it. And uh, yeah, I'm buying a thousand dollars of the graph right here, just around 33 cents. So why not? Uh, wish me the best on this. I do want to give you, uh, so on my portfolio right right now, before we go to your portfolio, I do want to say I'm $3,000 in. I gave you the rundown. I'm up 350 altogether. Uh, so it's about 11.6% over, you know, six, seven weeks of investing. Not bad. It was up a lot more than that, but, you know, the market has taken this big dip. And the fact I'm still up 11% despite the size of the dip we took, you know, it's not the end of the world. So now, Jada, Let's take a quick look at your portfolio and, and uh, give us the rundown on what you got here. Yeah. So here we are, week six. I don't know how we're already at week six, to be honest. I know. It's pretty crazy. <clears throat> time has been flying. We're in a time warp. Um, anyways, I've invested $600 so far. I'm up a lovely $61, 10% roughly, which... Wait, wait, know, wait, wait. T t 10 Ten percent? Yeah, you know, I know, I know. When you were talking about all the ones of yours that are up, cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got one. Well, I got you by one whole percent. <laughs> I have a lot less to work with. That's right? fair. That's fair. All right, let's keep going. The one I'm up the most on is the graph, so that makes my heart happy because you know, of course, of course, of course. Yep. So I'm up ninety six dollars on the graph. I'm up five dollars wow. on Algorand. And here comes the sad, the big sads. I'm down $8 on Vet and HBAR, and I am also down $24 on ADA. So it's okay. I'm I'm getting a little bit of a blow from the dips, but yep. I will survive. And this is yep. long term. So with that being said, I mean, it would be great to just do a poll of like, what's Jada going to buy? Because you already know I'm buying $100 of the graph. And since we're doubling down, I'm also buying $100 of Algorand. So, right. um, and really fast, not to cut you off, it is the, your portfolio of what you have invested is cut off here a little bit on the screen. Last mm -hmm. week's week six editions was 50 ADA and 50 Algorand. Mm -hmm. And then the consolidated portfolio uh, over time, what you're missing there underneath ADA is is the fifty dollars in Algorand that you have? So, so what are you going to buy? So you said you're buying a hundred in the graph and a hundred of what? Of Algorand. Of Algorand. Okay. So, uh, w why? Okay, graph because it corrected to about thirty three cents right now. Obviously, you saw that with what you're buying. Um, you know, so I want to buy more of that. And Perfect. I mean, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Like what in Miami, it was at fifty cents. Yeah, it was at 50 like, cents. Like, and, and I, I really do want to pull the chart up here just for a second. What I yeah, I kind of want to to zoom in on this really quick is that, you know, so let's let's zoom out to say the four hour right on the graph and let's look at it like this. I know that the chart's a little bit messy, but what I will say is that since that high in Miami, you know, right around 50 cents, we are down 32 percent almost 33% since that high in Miami. But if the graph went back up to that level, that would be a 49% increase for the graph. That level now becomes a target. And hopefully this bullish divergence uh, takes us back up to the next support resistance level. And hopefully we hold this very important level at 32.2. So yeah, I think buying $100 in the graph is a very smart move right now. Well, yeah. And also like you were saying on that chart, like the, I'm going to butcher the, the phrase, but mm -hmm. you miss taking profits if you don't go up and go down. Right. So it's like, yep. if I'm not like, yeah, we're down 30% since Miami, but that can be made up for, yep. and I'm long-term. So this might be different if I was uh, playing this on a day, hour basis, but I'm not. So right. Hundred dollars of the graph. Now on to Algorand. This is pretty cool because this is something that like I don't know how to do it all, and that's coding. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Most people don't. I mean, I think maybe that's why people get very deterred from crypto because they think you have to like understand coding to understand crypto. No. Nonetheless, I know that it's just like are. saying, do you need to understand how to 
like how emails work to send an email. Like, you know, you know, sure. you know. So anyways, but since Python, which is the most universally used coding language, sure. uh, went live Whatever. on Algorand, you know, that's like we're having so many more developers in that system. Algorand yeah. originally, you know, their uh, coding language Teal, like kind of hard to learn apparently yeah it's hard to learn it's not you know, not, not many people use it hard to learn too so yeah. i think that's super cool so i'm pretty bullish on that that's yeah. obviously going to expand the network which means that the project keeps going yeah. up in value totally I hope so and you might not know this they finally hired a new cmo they finally hired a new CMO, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have an interview with him here on the channel sometime soon here. So let's actually take a quick look at the Algorand chart, um, you know, while I still have you on here. So, you know, Algorand, kind of a similar situation to the graph, but, you know, Algorand, although it's still in the triangle, the graph, you know, lost that triangle and became like a down channel like this. But Algorand is still in the triangle and is holding this level here time and time again and this level is at exactly 22 cents so back at home make sure you have that alarm set on 22 cents this is the four hour chart and look anchor wave trigger wave trigger wave on market cipher b with the price going down and the oscillator pushing up bullish divergence on the four hour just like on the graph as well uh you know so hopefully this will help us you know get and break out of this triangle is the hope uh, definitely won't be the best scenario if we lose 22 cents. Uh, but let's hope that the algo fam holds strong. Also, I know, Jada, that you have some Cardano in your portfolio as well. So we want to look at the four hour chart for Cardano. And hey, it's a very similar similar situation to Algorand, except look how many times Cardano has held. Ooh, look, how, look how many times Cardano has held this level. Look at this. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now eight times this level has been tested. On Cardano, this level is at exactly uh, fifty six eight, so you know almost fifty seven cents there. And although Cardano is literally sitting on that level, it is still a triangle. It has not officially become a downtrend yet, which it would if it lost that level. But similar to H bar, excuse me, similar to the graph, similar to Algorand, we have a bullish divergence with the green dot. The oscillators moving up, diverging from the how the price action is moving down so you know hopefully bullish divergence is and it's also very close to you know there will be a point of intersection here it's very close to the trend line and it's very close to the support resistance level so what do i mean by a point of intersection a point of intersection is when the downtrend the downtrend is going to have to actually let me fix that a little bit the downtrend the price action is, is stuck in a scenario here where where by april 10th so five days from now Cardano will be forced to either lose this level or break out of that downtrend. So if you're at home on the four hour chart, set an alarm on this downtrend, set an alarm on this support resistance level, uh, you know, right around 57 cents, because, you know, it's going to have to do one or the other. And uh, I bet you can make a good trade out of it based off which alarm goes off first. But with the bullish divergence on the four hour, I am obviously hoping, fingers crossed, that Cardano, Algorand, and the graph all get out of the sticky situation that they're in. So there is some TA for you there. Thank you all so much for watching our portfolio weekend. Jada, any thoughts before we close the video? No, I'm I'm pretty solid, you know. We're, yep. we're chugging along <laughs> like it might yep. not be awesome. i feel like we need to do a like little mini meme coin style one because i know some of you really want the risky riskies and we're not doing that here so yeah. okay. maybe we'll do something like micro you know like 25 dollars well, the thing with that is that it, it's hard to do that, especially with meme coins on Ethereum, because the gas prices are so high. So if we did a if we did a meme coin portfolio, it would also be not something that we hold for a year because a lot of meme coins are jump in and jump out. So maybe we could add like weekly meme picks to these videos. Mm -hmm. and kind of monitor the progress on how we did each week because you're not going to hold a meme coin for a year you're going to jump no in and jump no no, no not at all i'm just thinking like of a way that we can incorporate that because yeah. i know people like it i know that they're it's a controversial topic sometimes yeah. sure 
No, I, I I'm like, with you. I, I don't think it's a bad idea, especially. I feel like it could be fun because we have a lot of friends who like to talk meme coins. Yeah. And I, I have a few people in mind for that. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so that being said, though, you know, hopefully I'm up more than 10% next time we make this video. Yep. And, the next one uh, will be made in Las Vegas. We'll be in Vegas. We'll make the next yeah. one. Okay, yep. cool. I'm here for that. So I hope awesome. everyone has a great day and Perfect. get rich. Not Yeah, not don't get wrecked. <laughs> well, Jada, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate appreciate you making time to be here. Everybody out there, make sure you smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn more about the Telegram group, those charts I showed you, if you know, if I show you three charts here, the Telegram group is getting six or eight charts, you know, almost every day. There are so many good positions, so many thank you messages. The Telegram group is ripping. If you want to learn more, send me an email down below, ajalphagroup at gmail.com and comment down below what you're DCAing in your portfolio. I want to learn more about what you're investing in. So with that being said, my name's AJ Writes Crypto. I'm Jada Glitter Queen. Get rich. Don't get wrecked. Later. Bye.